let me tell you, death is not something to be afraid of. Why? Even if you are afraid of it, it will come. Whether you love it or you don't like it, death will come at some point or the other. It's not as if it will come only after this point. Nobody can say. We used to say that very often. People used to say, mm, yeah, but then death, then Covid came. But a man 26 years old, you see him today, tomorrow is not there. But actually this is the situation always. Although in Covid situation it increased the speed, therefore we noticed it. Nobody has remained. Don't include Babaji in that. Babaji, not my son, not he also passed away. Sri Guru Babaji is not a human being born of a womb. All these stories that this circle is nonsense. He is a being. We don't believe he is born of a womb. He is a being who is here for spiritual. Therefore his body is a Maya Virupa. It's not made of the elements that we know. So it can remain as, but you all human beings generally. If you are born, Time you have to go. And it's not frightening, okay? It's a fact. Understand that and carry on with your life. So that you know that any time death comes, it could have come now also. You, I'm sitting here, you think everything is safe? Roof can fall on my head. Everybody thought Dubai is so safe. Two days ago there were such floods, one and a half years rain happened in one hour. But, so these are unpredictable. Nature's vagaries are unpredictable. Life and death are unpredictable. I'm not saying if somebody dying you should not read them. Okay, you should. But understand that ultimately somebody has to go. Whoever is born on earth. So if you understand this and live, then the fear of death slowly vanishes. And the other reason why we are afraid of death is not so much because of the unknown. <clears throat> little bit because of the unknown, is because we feel that in death we have to leave behind all the things that we consider dear to us. This is the main fear. Tomorrow if somebody uh, guarantees, you will die tomorrow, first you will be shocked. Oh! But you can take your house, you can take your car, you can take your wife, you can take your children, everything when you die, then you say, okay, then who is afraid of death? The fear of death is that you have to leave behind things which you think are essential for being happy and settled. All these are gone. This is the fear. So when you understand that even when we have all this, actually we are alone. And death is not going to, it's not, I'm not painting a bad picture, it's a fact. In fact, if you understand this, death is a joyous affair when it comes. You say, okay, from here I'm going, no. Thank you very much. Because you're not caught. The pain in death usually, what people feel is they have to leave behind. Things which they consider dear and near to them. If that is not there, there is no fear of death. And... In sadhana, when you realize that you are not the body, then you know that it is the body that dies and not me. The fear goes. So, at least if you think of these matters in your daily life, then you are prepared when death comes. Don't say, no, I don't want to prepare, death will never come. Yes, sorry, sir, it will come. Nobody can say no to it. And it's not a curse, it's a blessing. You move to another sphere, new people take over. You want to keep all. It will be like some of the old buildings in Calcutta. Some of them are like this. Don't know when they are going to fall. Nobody is demolishing them and building new ones. Death doesn't seem to come to them. So, this is, this is what will happen if human beings continue to live forever. First, now we have a population problem, right now. What will happen later? So it's all been arranged in such a way that somebody goes and somebody comes. Koi ja raha hai, koi aa raha hai, So this is normal. So if you accept it that way, then the fear of death does not exist. So life is like a real arrest passing on Absolutely. the baton. Absolutely. Pass on. People are reluctant to pass on the baton. 
that is the problem we have to we have to learn that we nobody see all the great saints and everybody who talked about immortality where are they physically gone but this is the reality and this earth after some time this will also go whenever there is a new manvantara or yuga there is a period fixed after that it collapses into pralaya and a new world is created can't say this should remain forever is not possible this is the nature of prakriti the cycle of birth and death accept it do good things move forward in your spiritual path find out that which does not die because it is never born and it is in us there is no fear of death 